If wanting to set up a Microsoft Outlook email account, the first thing you will need to do is just go up to your Tools, select the Tools tab, and this will bring up your account settings. Select Account Settings, and this will bring up your email accounts options where you can create a new email address. Select the New tab, and this will bring up your Choose Email Service. Already it will have selected Microsoft Exchange, POP3, IMAP, or HTTP. You will need to leave this as it is and select Next. In the Auto Account Setup, you will need to select Manually Configure, Server Settings or Additional Server Types and this will give you the option to select Next again. In your Choose Email Service, you will need to leave it selected as Internet Email and select Next. This will bring up your Internet Email Settings where you can now set up your email address. In the user information, in your name, what you would do is you would just put in your name or your business name. In email address, the, what you will need to do is put in the email address you were provided by sites and stores. So as this is a test email, we will be putting in the test email address. In server information, you will need to leave the account type as a POP3. In the incoming mail server, this is what you'll need to put mail dot and your web address, the one provided by or set up by sites and stores. In the outgoing mail server SMTP, what you would need to do is put in the ISP that is provided by your ISP server. So your outgoing mail server would be mail.bigpond.com if this is who you're with. So what we will do, because we are our own server, we will put in mail.sitesandstores.com.au We also have information on our knowledge base that provides a list of the biggest companies and ISP providers and it lists the details for your outgoing mail server SMTP. In the username, this is where you would put in the email address that we provided you. And in password, this is the password we provided with your email address when it was set up by sites and stores. Once you've filled all the details in the internet email settings, you next need to go to the more settings tab, select more settings and this will give you four tabs at the top. With general, you don't need to change anything in general or connection. Once you go to outgoing server, select outgoing server. If you are using your ISP outgoing mail server SMTP, you do not need to tick this, but as I am using our server, I will be ticking this. Next you need to go to Advanced, select the Advanced tab and with this information, the information provided in here by the actual Outlook, outgoing server SMTP stays as 25 but as we are our own email server, I will be putting in ours. So you don't need to change this, just leave it as 25 and 110. Select OK and then go to Test Account Settings, select a Test Account Settings and this will show you if it is completed correctly. Once this is completed correctly, close this off and select Next and this will give you the congratulations that you have set up your email address.